Hello everybody, thank you for taking the time to watch this video about algorithms. Now first I'd like to start this video by saying that the actual word algorithm is something that sounds quite complicated, but it's actually really not. The word algorithm simply means a set of instructions. Now, if you look at your screen, you can see a set of instructions for brushing your teeth. Now, this could also be known as an algorithm for brushing your teeth. So, there are five instructions on that screen. So, it's go to your bathroom, get your toothbrush, get your toothpaste, put your toothpaste on your toothbrush and brush your teeth. Now, if you complete all of them, you will have completed the algorithm for brushing teeth. So, although nobody would really say algorithm in everyday language, um, it is the technical term for a set of instructions. So, just to emphasize again, an algorithm is a set of instructions. Now, it is worth noting, even though it's a very early stage of course, that this currently works correctly. You would do them things and you'd have nice squeaky clean teeth. Um, however, there are a couple of ways that it could go wrong. And apart from just going wrong, there's different ways it can go wrong. So firstly, say for example, if you swap, go to the bathroom, um, as if you actually put that as a last instruction, then assume the first instruction there would be get toothbrush. If you're not in the location where your toothbrush is, then that's, that's game over. Um, we're not doing anything. We're not going to be able to then run the next line of code, so to speak. Um, so that that would just end the program prematurely, you would say. Um, whereas potentially, say for example, the last instruction, brush teeth. If we actually put that third, so it says go to bathroom, get your toothbrush, then brush your teeth, and then after that it says put your toothpaste on your toothbrush, and so on. Then obviously that would still technically work. But your teeth wouldn't be as squeaky clean. Um, so it is worth noting that there's two ways that it can go wrong in algorithm. So first of all, just an error where it just completely stops the program. But secondly, it can be an error that makes the program fully run, but you just don't really get the desired results. So it is worth noting, um, algorithm set of instructions, but they can go wrong if you don't get the order properly, and they can go wrong in different ways as well. Now I'm going to show you um, a couple of actual working programs, and you'll you'll see one or two of them actually working, and show you the algorithms within them. Okay, um, those are upcoming. Now, if you look at this bit of code here, what we can see is it simply says turtle dot pen down turtle dot move one hundred turtle dot turn left turtle dot move 100 and it keeps saying turtle dot turn left turtle dot move 100 now there are more efficient ways of doing that we don't need to worry about that in the slice at the moment all you need to worry about is the fact that this could be described as an algorithm now it's an algorithm to make a turtle move basically so that should be happening round about now and it's basically the turtle is just moving 100 um, so it doesn't say what 100 of what like 100 meters 100 miles 100 pixels we shall assume pixels though um, but that's what is generally going on with it okay so this is an algorithm to move a turtle around. Um, it was made in small basic, so again, you don't need to worry about the fact it says turtle dot pen down, turtle dot move. It's just the idea at the moment that there are lines of code that actually do things. Um, we've got lines of code, they've got nine lines of code, and what happens at the end of it? What does that algorithm create? Well, it creates a turtle making a square. Um, very important. Just so you know, again, another example of an algorithm in play. Okay. Now the next algorithm I'd like to show you is made in Python. It is a maths test now. It's quite a big program this one. Um, it doesn't actually show all of it on the screen. It only shows like the first 20, 30 or so lines. Um, now first of all, um, like I've said earlier, don't be intimidated by this. You don't need to know what this code does in the slightest as of yet. The only thing you need to worry about is the idea that like we said, every line of code there is an instruction and when you put all the instructions together, you've got an algorithm, okay? Now, this is actually a math test. I'm not gonna run for it or anything like that because it would be quite boring, um, but it's just, again, showing you that there are lots of lines of code um, and they together make an algorithm. So just take a quick look over it, nothing more. Again, don't worry about the fact that it looks really complicated if you don't know what you're doing. I didn't know what I was doing. Um, at, at your stage where you're learning um, it's all about learning about building up your toolbox of knowledge 
Now, if you look on your screen, you can see the final algorithm that I'm going to show you. It is for a very simple game, a maze game, and it was made in Scratch. Okay. So on the right hand side, what you can see on the very far right hand side, you can see where it starts off when it says when, and then there's a green flag clicked. Um, everything after that makes up the algorithm for this game. Now, what I would say as well um, is that you can split the program up into even smaller algorithms. So if you look directly in the says which says green flag clicked, go to X and Y coordinates. Then underneath that says when up arrow key press, and then it says point in direction and move so many steps. Underneath that it's it's got a down arrow, a left arrow, and a right arrow. So each mini like chunk of code that you can see and it Scratch really breaks them up dead nicely into this. Each chunk of code put together, you could say, is a separate algorithm within the bigger algorithm. Um, so an algorithm is a set of instructions. So the whole thing is a set of instructions. The whole thing for the game is a set of instructions for a simple maze game. Also, though, you could also say that there is, within that large algorithm, there is also smaller algorithms, like an algorithm to activate the left key when you press that one to activate the right key so on and so on and so on um, so finally conclusion of this lecture simply put an algorithm is a set of instructions now I've probably gone a massive way around doing this um, explaining and showing you these programs but there are more algorithms in the next lecture as well if you want to take a look at them but simply an algorithm is a set of instructions so an algorithm is a program um, quite simply put. So now, if you ever get in a conversation and somebody's talking about algorithms, you'll be like, yeah, I know what that is, um, rather than being like, mm, yeah, I'm going to stay out of this conversation. Um, how many times you get into conversations about algorithms, who knows? Um, but yeah, um, generally it's a piece of knowledge, it's, it's something else that you can put in your toolbox, or it's maybe the first tool that you can put in your toolbox. We're going to build that up but an algorithm is a set of instructions. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, like I said, the next one will be on even more. Um, I do recommend taking a look into them. Um, what will be detail of this one, but it will just be this is an algorithm and so on. Um, and then we're just going to build up your knowledge until you are making your own algorithms, your own set of instructions. So once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this lecture.